Hi guys, it's Michaela, and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video featuring this eye look that was actually requested by you guys. I did a video last week and you commented how much you love this and were wondering how I got this look. So I go ahead, I went ahead and shared it with you today. I am using the ColourPop Making Moms palette as well as a couple of items from REM Beauty. Uh, and with that, if you'd like to see how I got this look. It's a very fun, very purpley kind of glittery look. Well, just keep watching. I'm gonna start in with the Making Mauves palette just for my crease shade, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Big Mauves, or Big Moves right here, and I'm just gonna put that just to kind of lay a foundation down in my crease before I go in with the liquid shadows. Last time I did this look, I did a just a neutral shadow, but I figured why not? I'm going in with purples anyway. And then I'm going to take the REM Beauty Liquid Shadow in the shade Science Fair. I primed the top of my eyes. This time I didn't really prime or set the bottom, um, the lids, just for the sake of I'm just still testing this out and I didn't really like it with my lids primed. So I'm just going to take a little bit here and then I'm actually going to take my ring finger and swipe it all across the lid. And just kind of in tapping motions and just trying to get that pigment in, focusing it more on the outer corner and then just tapping it kind of all over the lid and then just taking my crease brush and then kind of just going back in and fluffing it out and just trying to get that blend there and then I am going to take a, bit, a little bit of a smaller brush and go in with the shade Marquee in the outer corner just to give a little bit of definition just kind of on top of that shade and just again blending as much as i possibly can but i still want that deep purple to shine through and then going in with the rem beauty the jelly eyeshadow um in the shade affirmation it's just a lighter purple to then take a little bit of this again just on my finger just a little tiny bit and i'm going to add that to the inner corner and then just taking a brush just to blend it out, get it where I want it. I feel like the fingers do work best with these shadows, at least from what I've tried so far. And then again, just going back and forth between the two shades to get the desired effect that I want. Uh, I'm noticing these shadows are a little bit tricky to use so far, but we're going to make it work. And then just hopping between the two just until I get the blend where I want it to and trying not to make a huge mess all over my eyelid um, that kind of came out a little bit patchy but we're gonna make it work I'm finding that these shadows are not the easiest to use so far once I get the blend there that seems to be working out and then for the lower lash line I'm actually gonna take the liquid eyeshadow the deeper purple and run that along my lower lash line just to give some color on the bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it out with that I'm gonna take a combination of these two shades the shade or sorry not that shade the combination of marquee and big moves and just to buff it out a little bit and just get a little bit of a blend and then going back in with the lighter purple, the jelly eyeshadow, I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Now, if you do have sensitive eyes, I would probably just use a highlighting shade from whatever eyeshadow you're using. Uh, but I find that these do dry down very quickly. I haven't had a problem and my eyes do run a little bit more sensitive. But if you are worried about that, I know a jelly eyeshadow in the inner corner may not always be the best thing. I'm going to go finish the other eye off camera, put on some mascara, finish the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. And that's the look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this tutorial was easy enough for you to follow. I am having a little bit of a hard time with these shadows. I am still testing them out, so I still haven't quite found the best way to make them work for me. Uh, but once they are on the eyes, they are super stunning, super beautiful. I absolutely love the finish of these. It's just the learning curve is kind of, it's being a little bit tedious trying to figure out the best way to use these without 
making them crease or making them feel a little bit weird on the eyes. But now that we've got them there, now that it's done, I love, love, love the finish of these shadows. So with that, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. God bless and bye guys.